What's going on, YouTube? I'm doing a small review of this electric bike I got not too long ago. Told a couple of people I would do a review on it. Didn't get around to it. Was trying to see if I could break it in. Get a comfortable ride out of it. So boom BD 578Z or the Boom Evader or if you want to call it the Egrom. Got this plate right here online. You see the website right there. Comes in a 5x7. Maybe 5 bucks. Nothing too expensive. Got a little plus 6 foam mount here for my S10. Hold secure. I like the bike, I have to say. But I will say, when you do get the bike, it does not come fully assembled. And this is the charger right here. And this is the compartment where you charge. Now, had to print out some e-bike laws for Texas, you know. Uh, got your kill switch here, and if you can see down in here, this is where you would plug it in. Now the compartment is probably enough to fit maybe small items or, you know, if you have maybe some cigars or cigarettes or whatnot, or maybe a small pouch, mid-sized possibly. Um, you have to put on the front wheel as well. And once you do, you have to go over it a couple times to make sure all the bolts are nice and tight. Pretty solid bike. This is the rear hub motor. Supposedly rated at about 2,000 watts. But you're probably going to get more like uh, 1850 or so. And you have your controller here. And of course, you have your compartment for your trunk here. Seat comes off. Now, this is my first bike, so I don't have much experience. But so far, I've been able to place right over 600 miles on it. So. So far, no problems. So far, no good. Like I said, don't have many complaints about the bike. Aside from your reading, it says in miles per hour, but it's actually in kilometers per hour. So just remember to make that conversion if you make this purchase. And of course, you have your, your horn and you have your lights. Nice and bright. It'll keep the road illuminated for sure. Alright, let's see here. Turn these off. And let's take it for a small spin. I apologize about the shakiness because I'm working from a cell phone, of course. And the little wine you hear, of course, is going to be from the rear hub motor. Now let's see if we can get this thing on. As you see, it says I'm going about 13, 14 miles an hour. In actuality, I'm going about maybe five to seven. Now, 
I'll get more ride videos for you guys because I know that's what you want to see more than likely. But I just wanted to at least do a small review on the once over on the bike. Now, you also have to put on the mirrors, of course. And they have these little rubber grommets here. Have to pull those up to adjust, of course. I messed up and used some pliers to get them off. They were a little snug at first. And of course, you're at the kill switch here, so controller doesn't work. And it will also not run when you have the kickstand down. When you have the kickstand down, the bike won't run. It'll stay turned on, but the throttle is disengaged. So that's a good feature. And let's see. I think that covers it for this time, but you know, I will get you guys more videos like I did say. And the bike is only going because the kickstand is up. Now you guys probably didn't hear me put it down. But like a lot of guys don't really do reviews on things that people really want to see or are concerned about. So, you know, if there are any things that you guys want to know or find out if if I can be of help, you know, just shoot me a message, reply in the comments, you know, or, you know, like a comment, thumbs up or whatnot. It's a decent little bike. And I honestly have no choice because I'm legally blind, so I cannot get behind the wheel of a car. This allows a lot more head sway, so to speak. You don't have as many obstructions. That and I don't go fast. But it's capable of going, I'll say, 40-ish miles per hour. But, you know, given my situation, I'm not going to take it that fast. I understand some of you guys say that may not be fast. But when you have, you know, vision issues, that could become cumbersome. And, of course, once again, share the road. Be responsible. Now, depending on your bike laws or how that may work, spoke with a couple law enforcement around here and from what they say uh you can't really ride this in the street and by the way i'm located in houston texas you can't really ride this on the street and if you do of course you know be responsible get one of these ride your bleep on the side of the road and if you must yes you can get on the sidewalk but i would not recommend it Depending on what type of a-hole law enforcement you have in your area, they might decide to pick you out of a litter or, you know, pick you out of however many friends you're riding with just because you have something that looks different. But overall, like I said, I am pleased with the bike. My only F up is that when I was taking it out of the crate, down here or maybe the other side i believe it touched the cage and it left kind of like an x mark yeah there we go so you know worst case scenario at least i know what bike is mine if there are ever any copies of it here because i haven't seen many of these actually any i see more like you know 150 cc 250 cc couple 400s you get your six 650 and of course your thousands and 750s but i seem to be the only one in my area that has this and yes it does draw a lot of attention people don't know what the hell it is and it looks like a grom kind of or for the most part they of course copy the style everybody says that over the internet but of course you have disc brakes i did not go over that and some of these will be loose when you do get it if you decide to so what i would do is i would go over this bolt i would go over this bolt i would make sure this is locked i would go over this bolt this bolt this bolt and i know you guys are probably like well damn you might as well say every bolt well if you want to be safe rather than sorry Yes, I would do that. And especially 
this bolt here and this <clears throat> and you'll have to go back and where is that bolt now I believe it was this one you'll have to go over this and make sure they are really tight because you don't want to give any playroom when you have your brakes engaged it just it you know sound and vibration and shit's just nasty oh excuse me didn't mean to curse don't know who's watching um uh, yo yang king mota sounds good all right like i said if you guys want to know anything about the bike or you know have a couple runs or whatnot i'm limited on the distance because i'm not trying to get pulled over I believe it was a guy that he may stay in Houston or uh, Dallas or somewhere, but he ended up getting pulled over. I'm not trying to go that route. Ah, but also, I did not go over the blinkers. Now, the thing with this bike, the steering wheel must be straight, okay? Now, if the steering wheel is turned in the direction of the blinker even slightly, the blinker will go off and it does not have an auto switch so meaning if you make a turn you have to press it in to disengage the blinker otherwise you're going to look like a drunk going down the street that didn't realize he has his blinker on it just ignores you know any visual signs of that or just go ahead and push the other one and i'll show you what i mean guys so if we disengage Back this way see it the wheel is turned slightly I engaged the left blinker it has to be straight because if you turn it it goes off so I don't know if that was just a safety feature or it was something that they overlooked but it's just something to note if you know what I mean you know what I mean but this one stays engaged you know, it's just kind of odd. Something to note. Alrighty. I believe I've gone over just about, I'm guessing, everything about this bike. Unless you guys have comments or questions. Like I said, go over every bolt that you can just to ensure that you aren't one of the ones that complain about the bike falling apart when you get it. Just understand you're responsible for tightening the screws and bolts when you receive it they're not going to tighten everything up they just have it assembled mostly i say maybe about 85 percent that way you know you know what goes where and it cuts down on cost of course but it's like i said fun little bike gets me to the corner store and back that's really all i use it for unless i'm you know making short errand runs maybe to the store or whatnot but gets a lot of looks a lot of compliments and until you buy your own you can watch this video or you can get your own <laughs>